All right, Shalom. First off, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakakwadash. Double honor to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And Shalom taught the Akim out there preaching his word in truth and sincerity. So this video I'm making is basically, it's like continuation of the same spirit of the video that me and the brothers made the other day. As far as uh, either be on fire or be in the fire, you know. Because if you really believe the words of Yah Bashim Yahweh Shai, all right, and believe in everything, all right, with this knowledge, wisdom, and understanding that was opened up unto you, all right, you will you will be speaking even more so, seeing that all these things are happening as far as the prophecies coming to pass. All right, you see Esau, uh, America, falling. All right, and we're just—it's really just evident, clear as day that we're getting closer and closer. All right, to to being in the kingdom, man, pretty much, all right, because as this place goes down more and more, that just means we're getting more and more closer to being in the kingdom, all right, and that's how you should be looking at it, you know, and that's why you should be more fervent and on fire in the spirit, all right, like we were going into the other day, all right, seeing that all these things are coming to pass and that the that Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai has made it clear as day that he's obviously giving you the truth and chosen you to be a man of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, all right, a prophet, you should be prophesying, man, bringing out this word, being on fire to bring out this word, being apt to teach, as the scriptures say, all right, and if you, um, if you're apt to teach, what was that, you always, you, you always ready to go, man, basically, all right, matter of fact, I'm gonna, um, grab that one real quick, as I brought it up. Yep. I'm going to just start with, uh, I guess, Second Timothy 2 and 24. <clears throat> and a servant of the Lord must not strive, but be gentle unto all men, apt to teach, and patient. So you're supposed to be apt to teach, man. All right. And I'm um, look up that word, apt. Pretty much, you're supposed to be all to, always willing, pretty much, all right, for apt to teach, okay? I'm going to go back to uh, what I had in Psalms. But yeah, you're supposed to be apt to teach, man, all right? Ready ready to bring out this word always, you know? The Spirit should be always on you to to constantly, like it says in Psalms, the first chapter, you, if you should be meditating upon the Spirit of Yah, Bashem Yahweh Shai, day and night. So if you're really meditating upon it, would you not speak about it, you know? And this is what the scripture I wanted to bring out in Psalms. This is Psalms 116 and 10. I believe, therefore have I spoken. I was greatly afflicted. Yeah, so if you believe, you would speak, right? All right, like it says right here. All right, it's clear as day. I believe, therefore have I spoken. So if you believe upon the words of Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, you will be bringing these words out. All right, because if you believe it to be true, Hey, you know what you have to do, which is prophesy, man. Bring out this word. Is that that is that not your duty, your responsibility? Feed the flock, all right. And and um and to be always apt to teach, all right. Instant in season and out of season, all right. Always ready, man. To bring out the words of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, and that should be that should be your mentality, all right. Even more so now, like I've been saying, knowing that. We are in the last, like, you know, the last uh, days and we're in it. We're close to the time of Jacob's trouble. You want to be uh, protected from all the hell and persecution that's going to be coming very soon. You have to be on fire for Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, man. All right. Working, working hard, man, for that, for that protection, man. All right. For that deliverance from all the destruction that, that's coming upon this place. All right. Cause if you if you're not doing anything, then why should you be, why should the Lord um protect you, man? Why should He look out for you? Ultimately, if you're not doing anything, you know, and you shouldn't be expecting anything if you're not doing anything. Just like the scriptures say, you reap what you sow. If you're not sowing much, hey, you're not <clears throat> you're not gonna reap much. 
So if you're not trying to focus on serving Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, why would he focus on saving you? You know, you're not doing, you're not really about it. You're not on fire for it. Are right, you supposed to be on fire, man? Right, the scripture says right here, I believe, therefore have I spoken. So if you truly believe on the words of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, you, you will be speaking even more now than ever, you know? Yeah, this is Isaiah 62 and 6. I have set watchmen upon thy walls, O Jerusalem. And we're those watchmen, all right? We're the, if you, if you say that you're a prophet of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, then you're the, you're the watchman, all right? You're supposed to be watching what's going on, all right? Looking out for, uh, looking out for uh, the body, man. Look, edifying the body, all right? Telling our people what's going on. Even though two-thirds of our people are going to be destroyed, yeah, you still you're still supposed to be out there proclaiming this judgment before it takes place, man. Bringing this out, all right. And it says, "We shall never hold their peace day nor night." So you're not you're never supposed to be um, holding your peace, man, day nor night. So always abounding in the faith, pretty much, always doing the will of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, doing it even more, like the scriptures say in. Um, in the Apocrypha, seeking the Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai ten times more. All right, ten times more if is you being on fire, man, going harder harder than ever. All right, you that's the type of spirit you got to be in if you're really seeking him ten times more. That means you you putting in a lot of time ten times more. All right, if you at work, most people work an eight hour shift or something. If you put in overtime, man, you work you working, you know, beyond <clears throat> beyond the uh, the standard, you know, beyond the usual amount that everybody else may do. You're not supposed to you you going you know far and beyond. But it says we shall we shall never hold their peace day nor night. And when you look into that word peace, it tells you, all right. And the um, word there is, <laughs> um, chasha. <laughs> And it says to be silent, to be quiet, still, and active. So this is what you should not be doing. You shouldn't be quiet. You shouldn't be silent. Or you shouldn't be still and active, not do, basically being sedentary, not doing anything. All right? Not speaking. You Here it is. You know the uh, the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. And he gave you this, uh, this, he revealed all this unto you, which... It's not revealed to everybody else in this world. Yet, what are you doing with all this this knowledge that he's giving you? If you're being still, silent, and quiet, you're not doing anything. You're supposed to be speaking, man. All right. You're supposed to be you're supposed to be active, not inactive. All right. You're supposed to be very active, man. All right. And it says, continue on knowing, to be silent, to be still, to be silent. Exhibit silence to show inactivity, to be inactive. And basically, that's you know that's what you're doing. If you're not being on fire, you're being inactive. You're being quiet. All right, you basically being idle, sedentary. You're supposed to be speaking, man. All right, day and like the scriptures say, day and night. All right. You never hold, never being silent. All right, never holding their peace, never being silent. All right, day nor night. So you should be making videos all the even more, you know, more than ever. All right, especially in the times that we're in now. All right, being more and more on fire every single day, man. Just like the scriptures say, even though the outward man perish, the inward man is renewed day by day. And your inward man should be getting built up day by day. All right. As you're continuing on in this faith, man, you should be getting more and more uh, um, built up with faith wise, believing, all right, in your confidence in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, in your knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, all right, not being silent, being active, you know, because if you're holding, if you're, you're holding your peace, you're being, you're silent, man. And what it says right here, which never hold, shall never hold their peace day nor night. So you being, you're not being inactive. You're not being quiet. You're not being still. 
you always busy, <clears throat> always busy, man. All right, like the uh, the scripture, other scripture that brothers brought out the other day in the video we did, when it was comparing you to being an ant. And ants are always working, man. So you should always, you supposed to be always being active in the spirit of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, man. All right, more than ever. Hey, because if you're doing that, then you don't have to worry about is the uh, um are you gonna be protected or how you gonna do this or how you gonna do that because the Lord gonna take care of everything else since, since you're seeking Him and pleasing Him first and foremost. All right. Uh, continuing on, ye that make mention of the Lord, keep not silence. There you go. You keep not silence, man. You supposed to be speaking. All right. If you truly believe on Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, Hashem Rakhakudash, you would be speaking, man. All right, because that's how you if you, if that's how you show it, man. You gotta show your your faith by your works, man. And if you have faith, you believe in something. All right, you will be speaking on it, man. And that's what you should be doing even more so now. Verse seven, and give him no rest till he establish, until he make Jerusalem a praise in the earth. Hey, and we're we're very, we're coming to those days very soon, man. All right, it's, like I said, it's, this place is getting going down. All right, the, uh, on a precipitous decline. All right, as America is getting worse and worse, we're getting closer and closer. All right, to Jer um, be Jerusalem being made a praise in the earth, man. All right, because that's the balance. As this place is going down, Israel coming up, man. All right, the light's coming up, man. In the one third. All right. Yet, the people who are protected are doing what, man? All right. Uh, not not keeping silence, man. Speaking. All right. Because we're the watchmen. All right. If you if you say that you're a man of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, you say that you're a prophet. Hey, a prophet is supposed to do what, man? Prophesy, man. All right. Bringing this word out first and foremost, man. So if you claim to be a prophet of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, you should be not keeping silence, man. You should be speaking. All right, speaking on what's going on is bringing out these prophecies and speaking in general, edifying and building up the body, man. The body of Yah, Bashim Yah, All right. Hey, that was the main point that I just wanted to make real quick while I was on my spirit to do the video. So, Lord willing, the lesson was edifying. And I'm going to give all praises again to Yahweh, Bashim Yah, Shai, Bashim Rakakwadash, double honor star apostles and elders, the great millstone. And Shalom Tadaaki, I'm out there preaching this word, truth and sincerity. Shalom.